And once again, I just have to say thank you guys. <clears throat> thank you guys for being patient. And thank you for contributing <clears throat> to a lot of people. I mean, it looks like, well, it's all money, but it needs wheels to get to the yard. And yeah, I've been using this. I'm overworking this thing. I'm working it to death. <clears throat> and uh, I, I can't do that. I mean, then I have another vehicle that ain't running. And I don't want that. <clears throat> this is meant for hauling scrap. I'd use that, but then, you know, how much time do I want to go and dedicate solid to getting that running? A little bit at a time, that's cool, I don't care. That's that's not a problem. That's the idea of this compound anyway. Yeah. Could be a decent truck. If I get it going. That's got a V6, that red one. That's a lot better on gas. <coughs> so, well, that's why I'm keeping that. I mean, you can't find, you know what, finding uh, pickup trucks and then, you know, it's not just the cost, it's you have to register it and then insure it, you know, if you're going to drive it on the road. And so all I had money to do was <clears throat> just acquire this thing. There was like a, there was like a little weed growing in the corner right there, so... That's an indicator it really wasn't being used lately. There's a lot of like gravel and sand and stuff in there. And yeah, that's not a friend of mine right there. <coughs> the, the back tire, that's not too bad. That front one, though, that's going to have to get replaced. Let's see, this back tire right here. That's not too bad there. It has the nubs on there and everything still. <clears throat> I don't know, those ones are a little bit different or something like that. They got a different kind of rib and all that. There's no spare. I think they have a spare inside the shop. Inside the building there. I do have tires though. I've been hoarding tires for, for the longest time. That tire is okay. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not bald like the ones on my yellow pickup there. I thought the front ones are totally bald. But for sure, that one's got to get replaced. I think they're all the same kind too. Yokohama? Or no? Okay, the two in the back are the same and the two in the front are the same. <clears throat> so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix that right now. I'm gonna put that on. And that will let the world know that See how the it's flashing dim. Now if I ground it out. Eh. I solved that electrical problem. Sort of. Here, kids, you can sit there and watch me. The ground wire, shouldn't you use a black one? I guess. You don't have to.
Ideally, I should have some electrical tape. But it is a ground wire, so... It's not like we're going to short out on anything. This tool right here is marginal at best. <laughs> I end up getting distracted and like playing with like what is actually carrying a ground carrying a ground. Apparently the cable is there. So let's see if we can do it the quick, cheap, fast, and easy way. See how it's got those prongs right here? Right there. Those fit into there. Does that make a good ground? Not really. I thought I could get away with being lazy. Lazy or hardworking? Now I'm gonna have to establish a solid ground. So I'm gonna shut the I'm gonna shut the flashers off to conserve the battery. I don't wanna run the battery down. Perhaps uh, drill a hole into the steel somewhere. Maybe right there where it wouldn't be affected. You know, because if you put it right here on the other side is the bed. You don't know what might happen if you put it right here. You know, the other side is obviously that. Obviously, I don't want to put it on the body, so I'll put it right there. I guess the best bet. First, I got my Sawzall battery charging off of this inverter, off the battery of my uh, minivan. I got the drill charging up too. So, see if the little red lights on. Yep. <clears throat> doesn't come out of there easily at all. It really stays stuck in there. I put all my tools on that snowmobile there. Except for this one. Strap. What the hell is this strap for? I never use that kind of stuff. Oh, sounds alright. <clears throat> now I need a drill bit. Anybody see a drill bit laying around? <laughs> they need a drill bit so I can. Perhaps I have one laying on the ground. Maybe there's one in this toolbox here. No, I got nothing in there. It's 
snobby scrap picker. I wouldn't let you within a mile of my toolbox. <laughs> <clears throat> no, sir, no right thinking man would. I don't blame you. <clears throat> I don't know, I thought I had some drill bits laying on the dirt here. I guess not. I'll see what I have inside the shop here. <clears throat> <clears throat> 